We didn't do much tonight, but we did liberate this WS8 Wilton Vice from this base plate by cutting off four 7 16th grade 8 bolts. It's not much. <laughs>
That's all I'm really doing today. I'm just kind of puttering. I'm just getting out, making sure I get something get something done out here, even if it's not particularly uh, flashy. But I'm kind of tired of tripping over this poor thing, and I want to get it to a point where if I want to mount it, when I finally get something to mount it to, I'll mount it. And uh, yeah, let's get started. That's all I'm doing tonight. Um, it's a it's a fun little vice. It's well, it's not actually little. I mean, it's an eight inch. It's got eight inch jaws, which is pretty big for a, a Wilton. Um, I think mine is a what they call a tradesman, something or other. I don't know. Seven. I don't remember. I want to say it's like 1756 or something like that. I don't know. But I think it's a six inch jaw, something something like that. And that's pretty big. And most of the Wilton vices, you know, are those old bullet vices that, you know, that, that's what kind of made them famous. And those old, they're, you know, they only have a four, three, four inch jaw in them. They're not very big. It just depends on which one. They, make, they made some big ones. I think there's one called a C3 that's like a monster vice. Really cool. But this one, uh, eventually we will uh, mount it to a work truck. I don't know that it's going to be the Chevy. I've been giving a lot of serious thought about whether or not to keep the Chevy. It, uh, like I said before, I think in the last video, I, I love the, I love the diesel, but if it's just going to continually give me uh, problems with the electronics, I got no time for that. So, I mean, I've literally spent more on that vehicle than I have on any other vehicle in my entire life, and. It's just kind of an odd sense of functionality to me. Uh, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow I might cook up some. I might I might cook up some uh, charcoal. I might uh, load up charcoal Charlie and do an update video on that build. It is I don't remember how many years it's been, but I built that and it is the number one video on my channel. And I get questions all the time and comments and criticisms and I need to do an update because a lot of the criticisms are things that are no longer, they're, they're moot, they're, they're no longer an issue. We took care of them. I, I made changes to it that need to be addressed and shared and I may cook up some charcoal tomorrow. Um, yeah, and then I may come back out again later 
And I may start building the doors for my little forge there because I really, really want to get back to the smithing. Uh, it's just, it's just been a wild, uh, wild few weeks. So, you know, uh, and I've been really focused on the Ranchero, which, yes, I will get back to the Ranchero, but I'm going to order some parts for it too. Um, and I think I've just about got ready to order parts for the power hammer. I've been in contact with him. I just need to give him a final list of what we get, what we want. So anyway, that's it for tonight. If you like the video, thumbs up, comment if you have anything to say, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>